Hello, hello everyone, Emmanuel here from Majesties. Please subscribe to my channel if you've never done so, so that you don't miss out when these nice lessons come out. And uh, today I'm going to answer a question that many of you ask me, what voices can I use when I'm playing worship songs and praise songs? We're in an African setting, by the way. So I want to just check out some, some of the voice combinations that I like to use that you can also explore in your playing. Now I'm going to start with my number one favorite voice combination, okay, uh, that I like to use. And I use this voice combination whether I'm doing worship or whether I'm doing praises. And what I like doing, I'm using this, um, the PSR S710, whatever keyboard you're using, you can combine two voices. So I'm going to combine a MIDI grand piano and a suitcase EP, and I'm going to play um, a worship movement and you're going to just to you know to listen to the voice really sounds awesome so um once again when you're on this piano the midi grand is found in the voice section under the pianos under the pianos you'll find the midi grand piano and then for the voice two i'm combining with a voice two which is an electric piano called a suitcase ep so this is how the midi grand piano sounds alone okay i'm in the key of g <laughs> That's the midi grand and then this is how the suitcase uh, electric piano sounds and then if you have not watched my vo my, my, my uh, lesson about uh, manipulating voices uh playing with equalization of your voices when you're working on this keyboard please watch the video uh about uh voice manipulation and voice settings on the yamaha psr uh, and this kind of keyboards i've done a full lesson on how you can work on your settings for voices but briefly when you go to your mixing console for example on the voice 2 the suitcase ep i've done a little bit of eq on that voice this is what i've done if you go to the eq on, on your mixing console, the equalization for voice two, you can work on your highs and on your lows a little bit uh, to get a sound that you like, okay? So for example, if I want less of the lows, I can cut the lows on the EQ low, or if I want more of the highs, I can add a little bit of the highs. So in this case, I just want a little bit of the, of the highs like about eight so that when I play you can hear that that little bit of the of the highs huh? okay that brightness a little bit and then on my voice one which is my midi grand piano I want to cut on that brightness a little bit it's too bright okay yeah well there I can also work on the lows, just cut it a little bit. When I combine the two, okay, there's this song I love. Uh, it's a Swahili worship song. Uh, you may not understand Swahili, but it says, Lord, you are worthy, Lord, you are worthy, okay. Unastahili, 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 wana. Kupoke ya utukufu, eshima na uweza. Unastahili, wana. Wewe wa sahili, wewe wa 
Kasa ili wana Okay so that's a combination I like to use um and it works both for praise and for worship songs you know Very rich I know let me explain why I'm combining a midi grand and a suitcase is because the suit the midi grand is good but it's light it doesn't have the heaviness okay it's a light voice but the suitcase is a heavy voice the electric piano so when i combine the two i get you know the blend of both the the brightness of the midi grand and the heaviness of the suitcase A note that is dead here this b okay so that's one uh combination i like to use now if you are doing uh praises you can use that or for those of you like you doing uh the seven or, or lingala styles try working with the guitars a lot the guitars okay so i can go to the guitar section and for example combine a classical guitar and a warm solid if you watch the previous lesson you understand that combination a uh, classical guitar let me go to the classical guitar for voice 1 and a warm solid guitar for 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 sound 2 so these are the classical guitar sounds okay okay That's the classical guitar, and then this is the warm solid guitar. If you know that Fanda 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 Nayo song. So combine, combining the two voices, the classical guitar and the warm solid. I talked about how you can work with effects okay in the previous lesson i'll not go so much into that but if you go to your mixing console if you want details about the mixing console and how to use effects check out the the, the lesson about uh, how to manipulate voices i went into details but just go to your mixing console under the effects section you can work on uh, change the chorus to uh, an effect like go to the type work with something like a delay okay uh, so that you have a little bit of a delay on your classical guitar. Okay? You can reduce the delay so that you have the correct amount. can work with your delay add some delays on the guitar really helps the guitar to sound nice so that's about some lingala um now the more traditional worship you can do a piano for voice one grand piano okay just the normal grand piano okay let me remove the second voice well, let me go to a different key like a C Sing with me how great is our God And all will sing how great, how great is our God So 
once again you can manipulate your voice work on the EQ for example or make your voice sound the way you want it to but now on the on top of the piano I usually like sometimes to either add a string or a pad a string or a pad well, most of you are familiar with the strings you can do a piano and a string okay how great is our God Sing with me how great is our God And all will see how great How great is our God And then a pad, a piano and a pad A, pia- a pad also sounds nice, sounds nice I like a pad called Area 51 if you have it on your keyboard, look for it. It's a very nice pad. Just listen to this pad alone. Okay, combine that with a piano. Over the mountains and the seas Your river runs with love for me and I will open up my heart Let a healer set me free I'm happy to be in the truth And I will daily lift my hands And I will always sing Of when your love came down I could sing of your love forever I could sing of your love forever. That's a piano and a pad. Okay? So actually it's good for those moments when you need people to be really calm and quiet and not much noise of the strings. You know, just work on the piano. We bless you, Jesus. Okay? Uh, and you can balance the voices, the volumes of each of the voices uh, to your test. Okay. Um, let's uh, maybe look a little bit more into the voices. Now, if you are lucky to have two keyboards, of course, you can work with uh, solo instruments. For example, you, one person can play the main part of the piano and the other person can do something like um, a lead instrument. For example, when I go to the synthesizers here, the synths, If somebody else can do a lead instrument and you're doing the main voice, work with effects when you're doing this kind of voices. Add some delays, you know, here and there. It really makes uh, your piano sounds very nice. So, um, basically, those are the major voices that I would do, like to use. Uh, there is uh, maybe some African songs that may want you to apply voices like uh, marimbas and kalimbas. Uh, if you go to this section called um, percussion and drum kit, yes, this is where you'll find things like the vibraphone. But I like the marimbas. Mm. Maybe some uh, styles of music that would want you to do that. But this usually works best if you have two keyboards. One person playing the main voices and maybe keyboard two 
auxiliary keyboard, you know, the second keyboard doing um, something like a marimba, flute, an organ, you know, those kind of uh, voices. So basically, try those combinations that I've given you. I talked about the midi grand and the suitcase piano. Uh, that works for both worship and praise. And then you can do the grand piano with pads or a grand piano with strings. Or you can even do an, uh, a midi grand with strings. Um, any kind of piano that you, sounds best for you. And also it depends on the song that you're working on. Some songs will require you to use specific voices. They sound better because of the voice that was used in the original recording. Maybe it was a midi grand for most of the songs done in the early 80s and 90s by Tom Brooks, Ron Kenoli. You hear a lot of that um, uh, midi grand. <laughs> You know, that midi grand kind of sound, huh? the, the sound of the 80s and the, and the 90s. Experiment. Yeah, but uh, basically, I hope that helps you. Please continue to watch our lessons, subscribe to our channel, and uh, check out our website. I'll put the link to my website and my WhatsApp and my email in the description below the video and a list of the different piano courses that we have. If you want to enhance your piano playing, don't uh, don't don't get stuck. We have courses. We have this, we have taken time to design courses that can help you, uh, depending on the key that you're playing in. We have designed our courses based on keys. So we have courses for key C, F sharp, uh, key G, key F. Um, get the courses on the website, and I know they'll help you learn more. So I hope to see you in the next class, and I hope you've picked up uh, something from this class. Thank you.